It's a it's a thing that happens. <laughs> Doesn't happen all the time. I know that. It's not gonna like happen every time like cold air or something like that hits like out of there, partner. The net whoa. The build around Ooh. these parts. Uh -huh. Name's Bronco. Bronco the kid. I'm here by request of your mayor to track down those handsome devils that are giving y'all such a headache. I'm gonna need your help to do it. Is that who I think it is, but they're dressed up as someone else? Handsome devils. Glad to hear you're on the side of law and order, partner. In any case, what I'm gonna need from you is a super shock shield. Or tss, for sure. Which also means shield in the Giggler language. At least I think of it as meaning that. It's got like there's a lot of layers to it. Funny thing is, this is not the guy they hired, so this is probably who I think it really is. But who knows? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my guess to myself. What for? To aid me in the capture of these handsome devils, of course. Did you even need to ask? Yeah, Could be a totally new character, but I don't know. Trouble of having that uppity science failure design something for you to work with. So here you go. The sooner you get it done, the sooner I can go after those dashing rooms. Curse them and their ravishing good looks. So long, workshop owning builder type person. Huh. It's like a kid's drawing. Oh yeah, by the way, I uh, started playing My Time at Porsche off stream yesterday. Gave it a second try, and yeah, it does pretty much play like, you know, My Time at Sandrock and all that, but without the luxuries of, uh, you know, ease of life stuff that this game has. Like, um... The one thing that I had a big takeaway with when it came to my time at Porsche so far is that if you want to build something that is for, for let's say is on here, you need to have it in your quick select inventory like here, like in one of these slots, and then you have to interact in the area in which needs to be placed. So it's a little bit more hands on. A little bit slower when it comes to the overall building process of things. But, um... Yeah. It's, a uh, It's a thing. <laughs> I don't dislike it because of it. But man... At, at least the console versions has not aged well at all. But there's also, like... What is it? Like a four-year period gap of development between each other. And they've clearly updated their engine and art style and everything, too. I have to say, too, my time at Porsche, there is no character that doesn't look but fucking ugly. <laughs> like, holy shit, everyone looks sickly. <laughs> uh, so they greatly improved the character designs in uh, my time at Sandrock <laughs> compared to my time at at Porsche because holy shit <laughs> it is nice to be able to cut down trees though without worrying about people getting super pissed off at you oh yeah I need to turn in oh uh, here I'll, I'll do this stuff first <laughs> Desertification. Um, I think I. Oh yeah, I can. Let's do that. Which is up there. Is 
Is it behind a building? I wonder if I need to enter it from a different angle. Technically, I could probably just enter the building whenever. Unless this is the secondary, like, expansion to the building. Let's see. Hmm, excuse me. Oh. Wait, has there always been a... No, I don't think there's always been, like, a second story to this. Oh, nice. The place has actually expanded. <laughs> but now, I expand onto it even more. I don't know why I'm hammering in anything when it's just a. I mean, maybe we're bolstering the stand so that way someone doesn't just try and take the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, what is there a thing on that? Weird. Weird! And she's not even near the freaking thing. Overall, though, I mean, I, I still need to I need. I still need to spend a few days with like my time at Porsche, but I think it's probably clear to say that I kind of prefer Sandrock. They're amazing. You're really efficient, you know that? Thanks for all your hard work, partner. Now it's my turn to get the tourists to come. Watch me. Because, hands down, the inventory system alone, Sandrock does it so much better. Oh, it, like denying the message makes sh makes it to where you can't ban the bot. See, before I denied the message, I made sure if I could ban the bot first, and it said like when I hovered over the ban button, it says to unban the bot. So I'm kind of wondering if that was already like a, a like a ban ban evader. So the, the bot was already banned for some reason, and yet the message came up. I'm, I'm so confused about that thing. <laughs> it says to unban it when I was going to ban it. And then I decided to deny the message. It is weird. <laughs> it's fucking weird. <laughs> oh yeah, let's build a simple bookcase. Oh, yep, need to get the blueprints. For some reason, I don't have blueprints for that. Feels a little odd that I don't have that. Alright, Yan. How much dick you're sucking? A lot. <laughs> got the blueprint I mean pretty much it's kind of funny that even though we didn't have the blueprint we knew what we needed <laughs> I was like wait if we didn't know the blueprints how what type of resources did we know we needed doesn't make any sense logistically Just come on come on you're busting my balls I'm gonna see if I can oh I can't improve it oh wait no I can 
I am going to improve the quality. Gotta make sure she has the best simple bookcase ever. Nothing lower than rare. As long as I have the power to do so. I usually try and upgrade it to like the highest form. Tish. Pen. Alright, let's install that book, Curse. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Oh, a small. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Perfect. I really appreciate your help with this. Thought it was a I lot bigger. A lot of great ideas, but I don't always have the right skills to make them happen. Just the same, I do appreciate it. You know, this has me thinking. I could eventually add a whole snack bar or even a restaurant in here someday. I have to expand the whole game center first, of course. Maybe even add some live entertainment. I don't know. I think you might have to buy the blue moon. Did I say buy? Buy. Buy the blue moon. That way you can get the whole food situation out of the way. I could hire a magician and do children's parties. Wouldn't that be amazing? It's a little 80s, but okay. You know, John Wayne Gacy it up a bit. <laughs> oh, I once saw a mechanical band made of spare parts and electronics in Atara. Boy, that would be something if I could get one of those. If I decorated the robot band to look like friendly animals dressed like people, nah. the kids would go nuts. Don't, don't do that. But we're not going to stomp on her dreams. Of course, I'd want to run it by Owen as a professional courtesy. Or maybe he'd be interested in being partners. Now that would be something, wouldn't it? Imagine what I could do with the kind of dough he's got in his pockets. You know he's already an investor, right? It's a little weird she forgot about that. <laughs> Listen to me. Dreaming impossible dreams. Impossible for now, anyway. One step at a time, right? And the only reason why I'm not actually, like, romancing her and all that is her accent actually does kind of bother me. It doesn't... It feels like it doesn't fit her. <laughs> and also, I'm not much of a... That accent is just not pleasant to my ears. Expanding to offer a few snacks is a good start. Not exactly competing with Owen Saloon, but maybe it'll keep my customers here a little longer before they head to his place for a real meal. You know, is that kind of ironic too? Because you know, I like Harley Quinn's accent, how a lot of people can't either stand her accent or they love her accent. I'm a person that loves her accent because it's a New Jersey accent. It's like a weird form of a New Jersey accent, and I'm very familiar with that because at least my dad's side of the family is, most of them are located in New Jersey, so I already know a good amount of New Jersey slang and everything like that. But um, I never actually picked up a New Jersey accent. It's always been Southern for me. But uh, yeah, with her, it's more of like, I don't know what you would really call it, to be honest. I wouldn't try not to say a Brooklyn accent or anything like that. I don't know what the hell you call it. It's not Brooklyn, is it? I don't know. Someone could probably tell me. But it, it doesn't fit her at all, like character wise and all such. <laughs> it's just weird. You're always so helpful and kind. I think we've got a lot in common. Always working, always trying to better ourselves and grow our business. Doesn't leave much time for leisure or friendship, does it? It's not a Chicago accent, is it? No. If you could carve out some time from your busy schedule tomorrow evening, I think I could too. Care to meet me at the Blue Moon for dinner and a nice long chat? As the voice actress, I'm kind of wondering if this is her re real accent and she's just kind of speaking the way she is. Or is she trying to invoke something? 
It's like, I'm trying to tap into something I never, never felt like tapping into before. I don't know. I don't know what the direction of Katori is. <laughs> That's why I've been so swayed. It's like, it's like, yes, I don't mind the way she looks and all that. But when she starts speaking, I'm very confused. <laughs> Terrific! I'll see you there tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay, so tomorrow there's something to do. So I gotta make sure I leave my schedule open for that. Oh, why do you have plushies of these assholes? Those motherfuckers. <laughs> why? Those thieving sons of bitches. Fucking Bronco. Alright, so I can actually keep the main story on hold until I get it, like... Because what I want to do is get, like, a much better weapon pretty soon. So, that actually wouldn't hurt. Uh, let's see... Uh, no thank you. I really hope I don't have to play Mahjong, do I? Just as found a noise in this, let's do... It's called Mahjong. Okay, they just kind of want me to repair it. All I really need to do is just get some... Was it hardwood planks? I'm trying to... There we go. Yeah, hardwood planks. Hopefully I have enough hardwood. Um... Oh! Oh shit! Wait a minute. Where's that, uh... Oh shit, I'm late. <laughs> oh fuck. The picnic was today? Oh no. <laughs> that started at like nine. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I don't think you can ever really be too late. Hi. Hey, um, I thought the whole point of dragging you out here was getting you to relax, so relax. A book and quiet. I am relaxing. Or at least I was. Ah, don't be like that. You're going to wreck your posture. Half the time hunts over a book, the other half a pottery wheel. Before you know it, you're gonna look like you're pushing 90. This, of course, is the only way to properly relax with a book. The sun, it burns! I'm melting! Save me! So now that you're out, you're having fun, aren't you? You know it's not easy convincing you, don't you? Hmm, indeed. You see... This is what you get when you win an argument with my sister. Hours of back-breaking labor, all by terse acknowledgement at best. Mm-hmm. Which is all completely worthwhile. In any case, I think this all proves that I ought to be listened to once in a while. To you constructive advice, brother. Of course. I'm all ears. But do remember that we didn't leave the harshness of Bonrock just to lie around here with looks on our faces. So wait, how much harsh is Bannerock compared to, like, Sandrock? <laughs> oh, I pray that you sleep no more at that place. My heart can hardly handle its very mention. Have you ever been to Bonnerock? No. There is an old Bonnerock saying, when it rains, it pours. Not in Bonnerock, because it never rains no pause. Mm. But, uh, 
Well, it's okay for us to say it. I wouldn't go starting that one off as I anymore. mean, so far from what I've noticed, it's never rained in Sandrock. <laughs> Our home is on a plateau. It gets hot during the summer and very cold during the winter. With little else to make up for it. I'm surprised this oasis has been the way it is without the rain. No resources, no farmland, no opportunities. I had to work in a crawler all day. And then I didn't have a cool boss like Rocky. One can only bear so much humiliation for daily bread. Finally, I just quit. And shortly after, Amira and I made the journey here to Sandrock. This place has its faults, but one mustn't forget to see the trees with the forest. I might not be so impartial, but I've never enjoyed such freedom as being my own boss here in Sandrock. And it's all because you brought me here and helped me get started, Am. I won't forget your kindness. We're family. Besides, you have also been a great help to me. The true kindness is that of our parents. They gave up everything to send us here. Don't you worry. Pretty soon my shop is going to be raking it in. I'll take care of Ma and Pa. You just enjoy life. Confidence is one thing, brother. But perhaps you should wait to boast till after you've a little more to show for yourself. We can hit on Arvia. <laughs> huh, you hear that? I'm on the right track. Oh, brother. Don't get cocky, Arvio. Need I remind you of the cash crunch incident involving your supplier not long ago? Oh, come on, Anne. That's so last year. Let's live in the present. Have you tasted the food? That Owen. What a genius. You need to get the recipe. Oh, brother. What? Well, that has been poorly scrapped. Remember to pick up what? Oh, okay. No, I think it's just part of the seasonal thing. You put that there. Okay. What else is on our bucket list of things to do? So let's see if we can make hardwood planks. If not, I at least know the hardwood has repopulated. Let's see. Yep, I can make two of them. That's all that matters. I think eventually I'll uh, I'll start planting some more plants. Actually, what will dictate that is if I have enough. Uh, how many more potatoes do I have? Oh yeah, plenty. And yeah, once they start getting a little on potatoes, I'll probably start planting a shit ton of them. While I'm waiting on these hardwood planks, I'll go to the farm, try and get some more tomato seeds. Is that what they call them? Is that what they call them these days? Oh, yeah. I just remembered right away. When I get back to the workshop again, I need a build another yuck mail station so yeah I'll try and build another yak mail station because there needs to be one near the uh, what was it called <laughs> it's that one new area that we just came across last stream oh for my toes Research 
Oh, I got 41, so I should be able to research something. I've been meaning to keep the research kind of going at a very molasses but smooth pace. And it's been like a season where I haven't done a done any research, so need to keep that going. This is any good a firepower generator. Let's see if that's any good. I'm gonna hold off on the main quest for a sec. I think once I'm done with these little <clears throat> side little, you know, stories that they have recently given me. I'm going to start working on getting enough points to get that ridiculously overpowered, like, spear. And maybe, maybe a new piece of clothing if it's any better. But, uh, that's my goal. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep on track! Keep on target! Um, Yakmel Station. It's on the second page. Yes. Give me a sec. Now that I got that, I guess I should turn that into Let's Play Mahjong. I I'm not playing Mahjong. I refuse to do it. I'll, I'll let them win if I'm forced to play. Hey, thanks for the follow. Sniper <laughs> just took some damage. So she's like taking in the mahjong table or something. Mahjong, Koi, and there's a couple other games that are Chinese-based that I just, I cannot play. <laughs> um. Like, nah, nah, I'm good. I don't want to play them. Mm. Now, if it was Monopoly, I'll play that. Huh? I have like a 12-hour session on Monopoly. Howdy. Monopoly games can last a long time, depending. Thank you. Here. Why? Goodbye. 